And in today's topic, we are going to cover building. What does it mean to build? What are we building? Is it skyscrapers? Is it houses? Castles in the sky? The building scam exposed. In the following statement, we see a commonly shared mentality amongst men of all races, which is that money attracts the women you want and that struggle attracts the women that you need. So in other words, what men are saying is that they know that they need to have reached a certain level of financial stability to be able to attract and maintain the women that they really want. But until then, they'll simply settle for someone who can help them get to that status. So let's briefly review a few real life examples of where the men in each of these similar situations prove the statement to be true. Okay, so in our first example, we have the Wolf of Wall Street, which is based on a true story and is the life of Jordan Belford, a stockbroker who later went on to make millions with various companies. So before his millions, he was with his first wife, whose name we don't even remember because as soon as he got his first million, he meets Naomi, who he then courts and marries before the first wife could even make it out the door good. He affectionately called her the Duchess of Staten Island. And the Notorious Big, also based on a true story, we see the life of Biggie Smalls, who was with his first child's mother, Jan, before his fame. So while becoming successful, he has a open friends with benefits type of relationship with little Kim, which she luckily which she luckily actually benefited from because it's after that that he then goes on to marry Faith Evans. Last but not least, this example isn't based on a true story. However, it's still relevant because we all know someone who's gone through a similar situation. So in this example is waiting to exhale which we see Angela Bassett, who's playing uh, Bernadine, who's coming to terms with the fact that after 11 years of building with her husband, John, and helping him to build up his company, he's deciding to leave her for his secretary. But then we see my favorite scene, where she symbolically torches all of the lies and bullshit that she's been told over the years. Work it, mommy. So in each example, we see how the women that the men, quote, needed, all supported their men and were cheated on and left as soon as the men in these examples were financially stable enough to. Meanwhile, the women that the men, quote, wanted were properly provided for and enjoyed his success after he had been built up. So there's a very big difference between being a man's woman slash wife and being his partner slash roommate and treated as such. But women have been duped to accept them as being both one and the same. Because in the building scam, this is commonly achieved under the guise of, quote, doing this together and we want to start from the bottom together and so on and so forth. But in doing so, you will become the starter woman slash starter wife AKA Bob the Builder, while providing wifely duties if you're not married and underpaid duties if you are. I will say that again. In doing so, you will become the starter woman or starter wife, Bob the Building, providing wifely duties if you're not married and underpaid duties if you are. So as women, we have to be vigilant, we have to listen, but more importantly, we have to ask the right questions. Make sure that you both share the same understanding of what building is because when a man says, I'm looking for someone I can build with, this could very well be code for, I'm looking for a 50-50 roommate that I can also have free sexual access to, for now, all under the guise of this partnership, supposed relationship. Okay. So now let's take a look at how, through the use of dusty memes via social media, men have systematically programmed women to accept the 50-50 roommate or uh, 50-50 marriage arrangement. So by disapproving and criticizing women who know their worth and demand and 
should be provided for properly while at the same time praising and approving the women who uh, brag about their independence and, and financially supporting their men, they're then able to exploit the desperation of the women that are seeking their approval. So then with this new approval, she's then deemed to be a real woman, only wanting his attention and nothing materialistic, which then leaves him free to not have any other expectations or responsibilities to uphold and fulfill of her. So then as a result of seeking his approval and seeking his validation, she then accepts the building scam as what, quote, real women do. And we'll see this theme throughout the the following uh, memes that I'm going to show you. And then she thus begins to fall for the BS or the building scam. Uh, Because, again, she wants to prove how much of a real woman she is and that newfound validation. She wants to uphold that. So this is a very, very covert, very subliminal way of uh, subconscious programming. And we're going to see that again in these following memes. slide of dusty memes we have the statement that a fake woman wants a man who has it all and a real woman helps her man to get it all this mentality is the equivalent to that of a pimp in the world of pimping and hoeing because we know that the pimp expects his hoe to go out and get the money necessary to contribute to her pimp and the household if she doesn't She's either coerced into submission via emotional manipulation and uh, physical abuse or just altogether abandoned because his interest in her was only for monetary gain and nothing more. Pimps looking for desperation and emotional voids that can be exploited to their advantage. These are the same tactics used by manipulative men who aim to convince you into helping them build go 50-50 and be their supportive partner uh, slash help me. Under the guise of their love for you and you being a quote real woman. Now, by the time that the 50-50 woman realizes that she either wants more and deserves more, he's already built up. His money is good and he's on to the next one he actually wants and can now afford. Leaving the 50-50 woman heartbroken, devastated, confused, and drained. So if a man is suggesting this type of arrangement in a relationship with you, think long and hard about how he really feels about you. Because a man only will ask you to go 50-50 with him when he either can't provide for you, i.e. he needs help, or he just doesn't see you as valuable enough to provide for. He doesn't view you as the prize. He doesn't really want you. You're basically a, a placeholder, you know, a roommate that he can have sexual access to. So remember, it's not about being dependent, it's about being valued. Make sure that you're the woman that he wants and not the woman that he needs. If he's trying to convince you that it's not like that and, well, only gold diggers want somebody to provide for them, 
stop him in his tracks and say, those are my standards. And if you don't like it, there's the door. Don't be afraid to lose a guy who never saw you as the prize to begin with. Don't be afraid to lose a guy who never saw you as the queen, the princess, the precious jewel to be valued and protected and provided for. Understand your worth and never under any circumstances trade it in for a few words of momentary validation with nothing tangible to back it up. So if you're watching this video and it's actually you who's in the 50-50 relationship, sis, you can do better. You can pay bills on your own. If your man is asking for half, it may be time for you to exit stage left because you are clearly not the one he truly wants. Regardless of what he says, don't listen to him. If his mouth was moving nine times out of 10, he was lying. Heed my words, pay attention to his actions and not what he says. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, The Dark Mistress, and until the next time, take care.